Hey guys, how's it going? Kermodi here, back with another tutorial. I'm pumped about today. Today's video is a long-awaited one for myself, where Steve Duda, the creator of x for Serum, has been teasing on Twitter for a long time that he's been working on an update for Serum where you can automate LFO points and where they exist. And that update is finally here. And lastly, before we get into the video, I do want to mention that this video is sponsored by Odyssey Headphones. The headphones I'm wearing here, they're absolutely incredible. I love them. They are an integral part of my workflow. But enough said, let's get into the video. So I've got the newest version of Serum here. This is version 1.298. At least I hope I'm right about that. And uh, we've just got a patch here of a base I've created called Elastic. <laughs> Now, almost everything in this patch is currently being controlled by LFO2 here. You can see 10 different things are being modulated by this. What would happen, though, if we had the ability to move this point here? Well... We have that ability now, and it's easy. They set it up really easy. I love, or I should say they, Steve set this up really easy. He always makes this easy to use. That's why Serum is one of my favorite scents. All you do is you right click an LFO point, and you now have the option here to modulate either the X axis or the Y axis. So let's say hypothetically I wanted to modulate the Y axis. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hover my mouse over this, go to the LFO bus, and you can see all the different modulator types here. So let's say hypothetically I want LFO3 here to modulate that point. So I'm going to click LFO3. You can see it's set a range. Now if I want to change that range, this is now set up in the matrix for me. See right here, LFO3 to LFO bus 1. And when I adjust it, see how that is adjusting? So let's do something a little more interesting. Let's actually change this so half the time this point's completely down, half the time this point's completely up and let's make it every bar it changes. Actually, let's get even more interesting. Let's set here and let's do something like this. Just like that, I took a really simple just won't 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 type of sound and added a rhythmic variant in there easily, absolutely incredibly easily. Instead of having to slow this down and create loops with variants within it, let's try this on another patch. Let's, let me give you one more example. So here I have a really simple stabbing bass. And what if every once in a while I wanted it to be a bit softer, more like a wobble? Well, that's incredibly easy now. What I would do is I would take this point, I would right click it, and this time I'm going to modulate the X axis, so the horizontal axis. I'm going to go to LFO bus 1. I'm going to use an unused one. Let's use LFO 3. And I'm trying to figure this out in my mind, so maybe every half bar because this is what this is on a 16th so maybe every half bar it changes now to me that sounds a little too um, messy because it's happening over a gradual point so what if we did something like this where it happens more suddenly maybe let's introduce a ramp at the end And you can do this to multiple points. You know, this point could get thinner or larger. You have tons of options with this, and this just opens up a whole other world of patch design that I've been highly anticipating for a long time, and it's finally here. There we go. That's it. So I recommend go grab the update of Serum, and you guys can now modulate LFO points. 
Thanks again. I'm Kermode. Peace.